go to your Amazon auto pricing rules click on settings and Amazon account settings so we want the tab here pricing rules so if we click on that to expand okay and here we can see the auto pricing rules for Amazon so the first thing you'll notice is you can select which Amazon marketplace you're working with uh, which you're setting auto pricing rules for the only marketplaces which will appear in this drop down list are those which you're currently subscribed to if you click on my account and modify subscription you can add new Amazon or play trade marketplaces uh, in this screen we're looking after just the Amazon auto pricing rules uh, next in the table beneath you'll see there's a, a number of rows each row represents a different auto pricing rule and the columns here across the top these reflect the fields down here marketplace condition format etc and setting one two three four five six again that's uh, duplicated down here setting one two three four five six you'll also see there's a default rule now this rule is fixed the the conditions format category etc category etc uh, you, you can't change that this, this is a default rule so it's kind of like a catch-all so that if you do run price checking there's always at least one rule that is running for all of your products you can change the conditions for the marketplace or for the default rule so you are free to to set this to price upwards or downwards uh, in whatever way you you best see fit okay and uh, with any new rules that you add of course you're free to update these or delete these as, as often as you like so we'll just run through one of these rules so if we go to say new we'll add a new rule okay and we'll call this rule demo test rule okay so here I can set the condition so we could say we want to price check only new products uh, and we want it to be say games that we're price checking uh, we'll leave the categories blank so that it's all categories department we'll say leave that blank so all departments and we can say it's only products coming from the bargain basement so and next then we set the uh, price settings uh, for, for this rule so setting one is if we're the only seller then make our price our cost price plus whatever pounds or plus whatever percentage so I'll say make it plus one pounds and fifty percent so that's in the, in the fairly rare instances where you're the only person and the only seller who is selling a particular product uh, the second rule is if Amazon's price is cheaper than your price then to beat Amazon by a fixed price plus a percentage or you can leave the, the either or at zero so I'll say beat Amazon by 0.5 pence uh, third rule is if there's a competitor cheaper than you then to beat that competitor by uh, x pence or x percent or percent or a combination of both uh, setting four is setting your minimum sale price so that's saying our minimum sale price is our cost price plus say two pounds uh, or you can set a percentage or a combination of both uh, you can also set your minimum sale price to be your sale price plus a fixed fixed amount and percentage your sale price is your default sale price which is on your your product screen if you go to inventory or you search for a product uh, you'll see the, the default sale price in your product details uh, your maximum sale price is your cost price plus a fixed amount or a percentage or a combination of both and your maximum price drop is a percentage that dictates how by what percentage maximum percentage your product will drop in price each time price check and runs